afternoon, everybody. I'm communications executive Anthony Dwarning. Howdy, guys. My name is Jake Brown. I'm a unit serving executive in the Cup world out in the wild, wild west. We are here to talk about this weekend's awesome Scouting at Home programs brought to you live right here on Facebook. Jake, let's start off with our first program of the weekend. Absolutely, Anthony. Anthony, our gift to the whole council is going to be a uh, virtual campfire on Zoom. We've got it coming up at 6 p.m. tomorrow. And, Anthony, this isn't just you and I going back. Well, Jake, I really – I'm sorry. That's okay. This is something that no, everybody can participate in. Though. Exactly. If it's just me and you doing the Jake and Anthony show, we're going to get really tired of hearing both of us talk, right? Absolutely. I call you all day anyway. we got to get some other people in this, too. Absolutely. So there are three different activities we're asking our entire scouting community, both here in Northeast Ohio and across – the nation to participate in, whether it's a song, a skit, or a demonstration. Jake, if you have one of those three, what should you do with them? You should look at the link, which is going to be below. You should send it into the Dropbox at that link below, and then we'll be able to add it to the campfire tomorrow at 6 p.m. That's correct, Jake. And, you know, we we are excited because we hope – we if I can talk – we hopefully will have a ton of submissions – both from our staff, from our scouters, so we can put it all into one big montage and put it out for you guys during our campfire. It should be a real swinging deal. It should be a swinging deal. Anyways, Jake, what else do we have going on this weekend? Oh my gosh, Anthony, I'm so stoked for this one. We've got the Scout is Helpful 5K. Oh that boy. Means... What's up? I said, oh boy, tell me more. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited because the 5K is open to anybody and everybody. It's our chance to give back to those less fortunate in our community, especially first responders and medical staff. You see, you'll be able to give a, a recommended donation during this 5K, or to participate in the 5K, rather. And then on Sunday at 1030 in the morning, we'll all gather on Facebook Live, including our scout executive, Mark Ryan, who's going to be showing us his uh, 5k trail as well, as well as our own we'll be able to post pictures and come together as a big lake erie council family to be able to share some outdoor adventures despite the coronavirus i want to do a big shout out to our our good friend our program executive jared blundy who is filling in for me as the producer tonight um jared has got both links up in the comments for you guys so you've got your dropbox links so where you can uh post your videos for our campfire tomorrow at 6 p.m make sure you have those into our dropbox between now and tomorrow around 9 a.m. So that way Jake and I can sit and work together, not near each other, in Huron and in Eastlake to uh, get those videos uh, produced and to have those ready by 6 p.m. Also, Jared has the link to the 5K. Make sure you sign up. Jake, what are we giving people uh, if they sign up for our 5K? Uh, we're giving them uh, the, the 5K bib, that, that number sheet. Uh, you'll be able to – that'll get sent out. You'll be able to print it out and be a part of wear that during your 5K. And Jake, isn't this more than just a like a me and you type of activity, like our self activity? Shouldn't you get your families involved as well? Absolutely. Have them set out the finish line. Have them take pictures of you as you're doing your thing. Whether you're running or walking, whatever you can do to keep that social distancing up, but also to be you know surrounded by those who care about you and you care about them. That's what this is all about. To get ourselves outside doing something fun with those that matter to us. Absolutely. So Jake, what are you looking forward to mo uh, to the mo to most? about tomorrow's campfire? Uh, I'm looking forward to the how-to bit, but we're going to have some skits and songs as well that I know you and I have been working on. And I'm really excited to see what others have to bring to the table too. Absolutely. You know, I'm going to sing one of my favorite songs. And if you've been to Beaumont and or Firelands, you've been there, you know it. It's the banana song. We're going to roll around and be a cow. It's going to be a great time. Be prepared, folks. Be prepared. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Jake, what are the two things we got to remember about this weekend? Uh, two things we got to remember are real simple. Campfire tomorrow, 6 p.m. Right here 5... on Facebook. You're right. And the 5K on Sunday, starting at 10.30 in the morning, also here on Facebook. And remember, get those videos submitted to us before 9 a.m. tomorrow, so that way you can be a part of our first ever virtual campfire. If you're a Lake Erie Council Scout, that's awesome. If you're a scout from anywhere else, that is equally as awesome. Absolutely. All right, now we're going to do something for the first time ever tonight, Jake. Are you ready? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. We're going to welcome in our program team. So program team, come on in. We have Jim Vanderpool, Brittany Dunn, Jared Blundy, and Phil Williams. Hey, guys. Hello, program. How are you guys doing? We're doing great, Phil. How are you? 
Uh, doing pretty well. Really excited. We heard some great things about this campfire that's coming up. Really excited to hear about that. Uh, really excited to see that. Really excited also to see KK. Uh, I'm signed up, my family and I. Uh, we're probably not going to run it because we got a, a one-year-old and a four-year-old, but we're probably going to be out there uh, walking the 5K. So hope to see everybody's finish line pictures tomorrow. I want to start whoa, off before you guys uh, hop off. That I is Sunday. 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 Campfire. I'm tomorrow. sorry. Sunday, Sunday for the for the 5K. Uh, I, I, before before you guys hop off, I want I want to say uh, you know th th this coronavirus can be challenging for us to to deal with, especially for extroverts and we're stuck at home. Uh, but if I, I'd like for us to share some positives that happened this week, so let's start with Anthony and Jake. Uh, Anthony, what what was the positive that happened this week for you? You know, Phil, I there's been so many positive things that have happened in my life this week. You have no idea how, how it's impacted just being at home. Um, number one, I'm going to talk uh, a little bit in my personal life. I have two, and then uh, about my scouting life. Um, I take um, I live very near to my 92-year-old grandmother, and even though we're supposed to social distance, we are doing that, but I'm able to spend a little bit of extra time with her, making sure she has what she needs, making sure she's prepared, and, and stuff like that. In my scouting life, which is near and dear to my heart, and I absolutely love everything about it, is we got to work really closely together, um, not with just uh, my team, which is the communications team of Gina and Anastasia, but also the program team, uh, Jared, Phil, Brittany, and Jim. We've worked extremely close uh, this week. We've been on Zoom all day, and just getting to work together has really uh, been a positive outlook in my life. And don't worry, my good friend Jake has also uh, been a part of this as well. Oh. Jake, can you can you share a positive that's happened this week? I mean, I, one positive I see is you still have your Christmas tree up. That that's awesome. Need a little I joy. Christmas in July, Phil. Why take it down? No, um, I would have to say uh, I'm really thankful for tools like Zoom to be able to bring all of us together, mm -hmm. even if we're not physically together. We're able to have some fun here over Zoom. It's been fantastic. Um, you know, also on a lighter positive note, it only took me seven stores the other day to find some toilet paper. So that was good. <laughs> hey, well, Jake. You, you need to keep yourself clean there, Jake. Hey, uh, Jake. How about you, Jared? Uh, what's a positive for you this week? Uh, well, I've had a couple that I've been thinking about. I've also loved seeing my friends virtually and being able to hang out with some people even though I'm, I'm here at home. Uh, I've, I've really enjoyed putting on some den meetings for our Cub Scouts throughout the week, and I have a new appreciation for our, our den leaders that work uh, throughout the year and do this every single week and put together uh, the lesson plans and on the fun activities we're going to do. It's been a new challenge, but it's been fun to do that. And uh, I, I literally just got off a different Facebook Live with my friend Alex Coker, and we spent 50 minutes singing our favorite camp songs. And if you know me, that's literally one of my favorite things to do. So it's been it's been fun to be able to kick that off before our summer camp season and, and spend some time uh, with our, our scouting family and sing some of their favorite songs. I was about to interrupt you and say it's one of my favorite things too, but uh, I thought maybe that wasn't. <laughs> How about you, Jim? What's, uh, what's been a great thing that's happened to you this week? Great thing that's happened this week. We've had, we're going to have over 300 scouts do online merit badges with us um, in the evening, which is really, really cool. Plus, just for Nancy, <laughs> Millie and Stiggy oh. have come out from their world tour, and they're going on the 5K. So come on out with awesome. the 5K with Millie and Stiggy. Uh, great to hear that, Jim. How about you, Brittany? Oh, well, uh, this week's been a great week. Uh, I enjoyed going out and going on my bear hunt today. I uh, got to see some parts of uh, the town next to me that I haven't seen. Um, and also, my uh, grandma learned how to use FaceTime this this week, so I've been able to FaceTime her a little bit more, um, to spend some time. That's awesome. And uh, not to sound too cliche, uh, but the great thing for me that's happened this week uh, is uh, and, uh, getting to work from home. I get to spend time with my kids. I get them uh, walking into to where I'm working, uh, giving me hugs, giving me snuggles, and it's just uh, it's just great because. Working in the scouting profession, even us as even volunteers, uh, you, you know, you're away from home at night, you're away from home during the day, and you, you don't necessarily get to see your kids all the time. And so this is a, a great place to remember, a great time to remember what's important and get to spend time with the, the people that you care about. Uh, Anthony and Jake, I want to thank you guys for joining us. Uh, thank you for your announcement.
Uh, and uh, we, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow night and look forward to seeing your pay pictures on Sunday. Uh, so take care. Thanks, <laughs> Bill. All right. So as Jake and Anthony sign off, uh, we are going to move into a little bit of a recap of what we've seen this week. So this week, uh, we have seen quite a few merit badge sessions, which has been pretty awesome. Uh, Jim has had, uh, like he said, almost uh, 300 people. Uh, that uh, Was that right, 300 people, Jim? Does that sound about right? About 300, yes. Uh, so we had disability awareness. Thank you so much to Christy Howard for uh, volunteering to teach uh, disability awareness. Uh, we had Grace Prorock teaching movie making. Uh, we got some great movies still coming in from, from our new producers. Uh, as I told them in the movie making class, uh, Steven Spielberg got his start on movie making merit badge. Actually, it was called cinematography at the time. He had never picked up a camera before in his life. And that, uh, that taught him uh, that he wanted to go into the movie career. So that's pretty exciting. That's pretty cool. Uh, we also had disability awareness last night uh, with Brian, Brian Wolf and Jack Wolf, who taught that. Uh, although we had some technical difficulties at the beginning, uh, we were able to work those out. And, get that. and then, <laughs> then we also had uh, tonight, uh, I believe we're going to have coin collecting, and that's going to be with. Uh, Julia Hearn. So we're pretty excited about that. Excited to get things started there. Uh, on the Cub Scout side, we had some awesome things too. Uh, we got to see uh, Jake uh, helping out with, or Leave No Trace, or was that, that, that may have been last Friday that we saw that. Uh, yeah, we that got last to, week. We got to see Abby um, helping out with the, the codes, which was really popular. Uh, I thought that was really great. Uh, I got to see Coker uh, as well. Um, got to hear from Big Chief Yellowfoot. And you got to see me last night seasoning cast iron. So hopefully you find your cast iron and get that all seasoned up this weekend and all taken care of. Uh, we got some great things to announce this week. Uh, but before we get to that, I just uh, cover some of the, the important updates about COVID-19 and what that means. Last week, we discussed uh, some of the cancellations or postponements, really, of future events. Uh, next week on the program, we're going to announce um, some of those new dates so that you can start putting those on your calendar. Uh, for anything that wasn't in the document you saw last week. Um, but one of, the, one of the big changes that we've seen this between last week and this week is the stay-at-home order that was issued by our, our governor. And that's going to go through at least April 6th, I believe. So that means that the unit service center will be closed until that point. So that's, that's an important update. Make sure you mark your calendar with that. Um, all the other important updates, I think, uh, I think we'll cover later in this broadcast. So uh, why don't we kick it off with uh, Brittany? Why don't you tell us about what we got for Cub Scout programming coming up this week? Sure, we have some awesome things coming up. On Monday, we're going to start off with our Woof Den meeting, and we have a fantastic uh, guest presenter uh, from Casey and her son will be on from the uh, from the Jefferson area, and they're going to have some fun with um, digging into the past. And then we have on Tuesday, we're going to have our Tiger meeting with Good Nights. Um, which we'll have some fun making some shields and a few other fun things. And then on Wednesday is some awesome science experiments. It's super, super science with, uh, for the bears or anybody who enjoys uh, science. I myself will love it. I see Jared, yep. Uh, so I'm excited for that one. And then we go on to Thursday. And just like Phil last week, this week, he did some seasoning of the cast iron. We're actually going to be doing the AOL Weeblow's Den meeting for cast iron chefs. So if you're into cooking and want to join us, um, that'd be a, a fun time. And then Friday, going to wrap up the week with lions and do gizmos and gadgets. Um, so for each of these, we're going to try and announce it, uh, what materials you're going to need ahead of time, a day or so, so you can gather them up. And if you want to follow along and have some fun, um, you can do that and ask questions as you go. Um, and that's our week next week for the Cub Scouts. Awesome. Great to hear that, Brittany. And I'm glad to see uh, you're, you're taking the lead on that. we got some volunteers coming in. Pretty awesome to see that. Uh, Jim, can you tell us about our Scouts BSA programs going on? We can. Monday, Tuesday, we, uh, Christy Howard is coming back to do another full session of public health. That's Monday and Tuesday. On Wednesday, 
Um, we are going to have reptile and amphibian study, which is very, very exciting. Um, Thursday, citizenship in the world. That'll be a Thursday and Friday class. Also on Thursday, we're going into another class at the same time. I uh, will have chemistry on Friday and then nature on na chemistry on Thursday, nature on Friday. All the days are running together, guys. Sorry. Um, so Monday, Tuesday, public health. Wednesday, reptile and amphibian study. Thursday and Friday, citizenship in the in the community, citizenship in the world. Um, and then Thursday, chemistry and Friday, nature. Oh, that's awesome. So we've got more than one a day next week, it sounds like. Is that is that right, Jim? Yes. And then okay, great. And well, in April 6th and 7th, we already have photography booked. So we've got lots of stuff coming up in the near future. Awesome. Um, yeah, I know our public health session this week was pretty full. Uh, pretty great to see that, especially during this time. Learn a little bit about the public health system and what public health is. You know, it's not just about seeing the doctor. It's about the health of the community, and that's pretty cool. So uh, hope we see some more scouts who haven't earned that badge on with uh, Christy this Monday and Tuesday. And hope we see scouts for each of those sessions sign up. Uh, Jared, do you, could you share sort of the general sessions that we're going to be having this upcoming week? Absolutely. Now, my times are a little bit all over the place, but I did want to let you know all those merit badges are starting at 6 p.m. Is that right, Jim? Yes, it's 6 o'clock, 6 to 7.30 or 6 to 8 o'clock. Cool, cool. All right, so for our general sessions, uh, we're going to continue our Scout Strong movement, and that is on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, starting at 11 a.m., and uh, one of our staff or volunteers or, or folks that want to be part of that, that program are sharing how they're staying active and strong at home, whether it's through a hike or a walk or a run or some kind of exercising that they're doing in their house. Those are happening on our Facebook page at 11 o'clock on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On Monday, we're excited to announce an interview with our scout executive, Mark Ryan, and that'll be at 5.30 in the evening. So we'll hopefully uh, get a lot of people that are, are interested to hear what Mark has to say with a special interview with him on Monday. Then on Tuesday, we'll hear from Big Chief Yellowfoot again. He'll be uh, interviewing the uh, OA, the Order of the Arrow Lodge Chief and Lodge Advisor. So that's uh, Joe and, and Evan, who will be on with Big Chief Yellowfoot, our Director of Support Services, Carl Boyles on Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. On Wednesday, again, we have our Scout Strong at 11 a.m., but uh, then we have a special announcement on Wednesday starting at 5.30 in the afternoon. That one's a bit of a surprise. And on Thursday, we're gonna do a skills demonstration. That'll be at 5.30 as well. And that'll be with me. I'm gonna show you how to hammock camp and some best practices if you're gonna do some hammock camping for our Camper All, which is coming up next month. Uh, some ways to stay on, <laughs> oh, hi, this is my cat. <laughs> Uh, some ways to stay comfortable and uh, have a really neat little camping experience in your hammock. So if you got a place to set that up outside, awesome, but I can also show you some cool ways to set it up inside as well. Also on Thursday, we're doing a second uh, skills instruction, particularly, particularly for our tenderfoot scouts, and that'll be on the edge method. Uh, so excited to do that. That's uh, the explain, demonstrate, guide, and enable method, which is very popular in scouting and a great way to teach new skills. Um, and then Friday, we'll round out our general sessions for our scouting family, again, with Scout Strong at 11 a.m. But then a teaser like this one for next week's program and a little info session on the Jamboree on the Internet. If you haven't heard about Jamboree on the Internet before, this is a, uh, a nationwide uh, program that's done. I uh, used to be Jamboree on the radio, but we've moved. It's, it's now been moved to Jamboree on the internet, where you can connect with scouts from all across the nation, maybe in some other nations as well. And uh, they've got some cool programs going, not just for Friday, but uh, for three days: Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I hope you check that out. Again, there's a link on our website, and you'll be able to find this full schedule of activities on our at-home website or at-home page on our website, which you can find the link for that in uh, the comments below. Back to you, Phil. Awesome, Jared. So, it sounds like we got some, some great stuff coming up. Uh, I'm really excited. So you mentioned uh, scouts around the country, scouts around the world. Uh, one of the cool things that we've got going on uh, that has just been announced, I think it was announced on Wednesday night, uh, is the Lake Erie Council Scouting at Home, first ever camp or all, scouting at home camp or all. So that's going to be done at home. There's some awesome activities. 
Uh, we already have scouts from 14 councils, 14 states actually across the country who are signed up for that. Um, actually, it might be even be more than that. I haven't checked since this morning. Uh, but that's awesome to see. That's open to everybody, not only Lake Erie Council Scouts, but scouts across the country. We're going to do things like run a 5K. I know we're want, running one this weekend, so be prepared to uh, uh, be prepared to uh, come to that 5K this weekend on Sunday. Uh, but we're going to run a 5K during that. Uh, we're going to have a chili cook-off. So the idea there, which is really cool, is uh, you're going to submit your recipe for chili, and then we're going to trade recipes. We'll give that recipe to somebody else to cook, and then they're going to judge based off of your recipe how good the chili is. And so that's how we're going to do the competition because we're still, still at home. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. We've also got um, a campfire program that we're going to have that evening. Uh, we're, we're trying to get together with other council camps, hopefully, um, and, and hopefully if the at-home order is lifted by then, we can show fires from Beaumont, from Firelands, uh, and from Stigwandish, uh, as well as campfires around the country, and we can share videos of our favorite sk skits and songs, and etc. So we're pretty excited about that. Uh, and then to cap it all off, after all of that's done and you wake up on Sunday morning, uh, in your campsite in the backyard or in your living room, uh, we're going to sh share pictures of our breakfast using particularly Scout's Own pancakes and Scout's Own maple syrup because we know we love some Scout's Own pancakes and Scout's Own maple syrup. So I want to give a, a plug to that uh, Scouting at Home Camp Raw. It's free for anybody to go to. There are also patches available for purchase if you're interested in that. Uh, please find that on the Lake Erie Council website. Um, or you can find the sign up, I believe, on our Facebook page as well. Uh, so we got some really exciting stuff coming up next week. We're going to continue to announce the next week on the Friday before, so it gives everybody a chance to sign up and everybody a chance to see what's going on. Uh, you'll notice that we'll be sending out surveys uh, near the end of each week so that we can respond to if there's any changes about times of day that people prefer things or the content that you would like to prefer. Uh, we're going to listen to you and want, want to make adjustments based on what we hear. Uh, we know that it's hard to scout at home, uh, but we think we're making it way easier to do that. Hopefully you're keeping up all your virtual den meetings, all of your virtual troop meetings, all your virtual patrol meetings. Uh, I know I, heard, I talked to somebody today who had just done a uh, Eagle Scout board review virtually, and that's just so awesome that we're able to continue scouting, uh, and scouting thrives. So excited for upcoming week. Uh, uh, just got to jump off here real quick. I know that uh, he's got to head over to Coin Collecting Merit Badge. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night, Lake Erie Council, and all the other councils and scouts around the country. We'll see you tomorrow night uh, here on the Facebook page to uh, kick off our campfire. Uh, we're really excited. Have a great night, Lake Erie Council. Have a great night scouting, and talk to you next week.